Hey everybody, welcome to part two of Let's Play Horatio. Uh, when last you left us, I was competing over the Ocelo system with the uh, Riftborn, who I can potentially get that a little bit faster than, and if not, you know, I'll have another ship there to try and blockade it. Uh, looks like they have also just settled the Groose system, which, I mean... I would like to compete for that one too, but Ocelo is more important in terms of that's got the star lane that connects to the rest of my territory as far as position goes, so this is the one that's important to get in Groose. We'll see about that. I don't really have a whole lot of ships in play yet. Speaking of which, it is research time, and in research time I'm going to start with efficient shielding to get uh, my attacker ships up, and then I'm going to go into the military tree. XP building before the fortified building because I'm not super worried about defending yet. Mostly I want to unlock the next and increase my fleet uh, command point size here and also get uh, uh, tanks for ground battles. Uh, so start dipping into the military tree. I have discovered the Bagaba minor civilization. Well, hello, Bagaba. I will praise you. What do we got? Any curious? There's one curious to search. Ooh, improved plating that uses uh, titanium. Well, that'll be good to make my ships stronger. Wait a second. Is there curiosity to search in the way system? No, but yeah, I already got him. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way rather than cut down and try and search a curiosity there. I'm guessing this is probably the Vodiani's home system here. It might be farther this way, but uh, we'll see. Okay, you blockade. And yeah, just the blockade there has increased the time for that to 29 turns. So now I'm definitely going to win uh, the colony race there. And um, it's possible, like, the uh, second revealer I have here, if I add that to the fleet, might even get it into negative, um, which would make it die. But I don't actually want it to die, because uh, if I colonize while their outpost is still there, I will just start with two planets colonized. And because it's a Riftborn colony, that'll be one Riftborn citizen, which is the first I need to get to four and splice them. Uh, so, potentially, unless they send something to uh, try and boot me out of here, I might be able to send the other scout to slow them down in the Groose system. We shall see. All right, lost Horatio ship. Mm -hmm. Send all three Springs, Transvine, Dust deciduous Trees. Okay, cool. For There's your one deeds, more a special place in the void awaits you. Alright, so they are mad I am blockading their outpost. This does not surprise me. I would be mad too. I'm not super worried about pissing them off because I not only expect, I plan for this to escalate into war soon. Uh, hopefully, you know, not until a couple turns have passed and I actually have fleets to defend myself. But <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with that problem if it shows up. Looks like there's a pirate there. In the camo system. Well, whatever. I'm not super worried about the pirate. Oh, and he's going back to Delta. what we're talking about here. I'll get the monsoon and the savannah planet, so. And then I will incur the, the wrath of the Riftborn. Mm -hmm. yeah, get us some industrial infrastructure. For your deeds, a special place in the void awaits you. 
Okay, yeah, this is gonna be war soon. When I scouted through their territory, it did not look like they had anything but scout ships either, so. However, now that, uh, that's out, uh, let's see, weapon two. Actually, I'm going to hold off on putting that plating on because my first fleet I just want to build as quick as I can. I want it to be cheap. And I'm going to cancel N-Way Fusion. After one turn, ubiquitous surveillance will be done. And that, I only need one technology to unlock the next tier. I'm going to go straight into increased fleet size. So, that means I can have a fleet of seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Lost ratio ship. Yeah, search these curiosities. Grim recycling. The battle tactic. That's a nifty battle tactic. It makes it so that if some of your ships are destroyed, the other ships will use parts from the destroyed ships to repair themselves. Oh, there's a pirate. Is there even a... there's not even a curiosity to search there. Which means I'm just going to command you to instantly turn around when you get there and try to not to fight that pirate at all. What I really do not want is for the Vodiani to get pissed and attack Alioth while I'm trying to fight the Riftborn way over here because that's not something I'm going to be able to handle on two fronts. So if they ask me for more tribute, I'm actually going to give it to them. Okay, friendly. Hmm. You know, I'm not gonna. It's they changed it in the patch. Now it's uh, dust for the assist quest instead of influence, which isn't bad. But right now, I only have 318 dust, and I, like I said, if they ask for tribute from me and I don't give it to them, the Vodiani will be upset about that, and I cannot fight two people at once right now. So, I'm gonna get these three. Here's the plan, right? We got three going in the barber system. When I have four ships done here, I will fly over and uh, rendezvous, turn that into a fleet of seven, and then build a second fleet in care. What about you, Revealer? There's, okay, I can't reveal anything here. Keep on exploring. Well, yes. Want that. Obviously. And then botanical scanning. And then... Well, I don't think I need the happiness, do I? Colonies arid. Yeah, that's better. That's a more useful science building. I shall defend the faith, whatever yep, that requires. Comes. Next tribute. Even in holy war, diplomacy remains an option. Yes, I accept. Our relations with you are a source of joy and hope for the church. I don't usually like paying tribute to other empires, but right now, uh, the war I want to have is with the Riftborn, because the thing about the Vodiani is, like, I can't get Vodiani population and splice them. You destroy an Ark and it's destroyed. Like, you can't actually get Vodiani population if you're not Vodiani yourself. Oh, this isn't being leeched. Well, let's just, uh, I'll praise now and try and get that better for, uh, dust and production. Um, so a war with them doesn't actually provide me anything useful to my Horatio trait. Whereas a war with the Riftborn, they're a really good population to splice. So 
Normally I would just say, ah, yeah, screw you, Vodiani, let him come, and I would fight the Vodiani if they got all pissy. But right now, uh, oh no, oh no, retreat. Yay, lost her ratios, retreated. And I've met the Deuvians. One praise, can I? I don't see any anomalies there, so. like a counselor hero because counselor heroes are good for um, influence and more influence would definitely benefit me at this time merge these guys what do they got yeah one scout they'll try to fight me off with their one scout which I should be able to handle Well, yeah, no, my two ships will beat that one ship. And also, this is going to be a colony in one turn, so I'm not worried. And, because that's going to be a colony in one turn, I'm not actually going to assign this guy this turn. Uh, I'm going to do this, because he's not an overseer. He doesn't get 10 food. And plus 5% of whatever it starts with is going to be very little, so... Um, because my plan is I'm going to put make him the governor of Osulo next turn when he uh, when it becomes a thing. Because once you assign a hero, it uh, can't be reassigned for a couple of turns, so. Meanwhile, in the Pavo system... Stay. Oh, no, that's already colonized. Well, actually, I'm going to search the uh, curiosity first in case that's a resource. Lost Horatio ship. Okay, no. Oh, there is. That's right, the one I missed earlier. Mineral Rich. All the hidden isolated nodes of this constellation. That should be pretty good on a two-arm uh, two spiral galaxy. Well, there's one. Uh, well, it's actually surprising. I would have expected there to be more hidden nodes that I found there. Uh, Ferella E.M. Mario. I'm going to give him plus per person now that his system is more populated. Yes, I know he's on the side. New population collection. 15% more food on systems with Horatio. Good, good. Turned into a colony on Osuro. So, I will assign my governor. And then these guys are going to pop over to Bruce and see about uh, ruining the Riftborn's day before they get that system. I will probably have to buy out this construction next turn to get that fleet up to seven. And then, what was it, two, three, four? Yeah, okay. Uh, so 
so that'll be a second fleet. Which I'm just going to build all in care. After these three are done, I'm going to go to send farther back to improvements. Wow, 40 turns. But, are they blockading me? Oh. oh. Can I ask them not to blockade me? The church is pleased to greet you. We are always happy to discuss affairs. To talk to an arc directly next to my empire. Uh, no, I don't want to ask. I want him to stop blockading me. Or is this pirate blockading? I don't know. He's low on health, though, so I'm going to fight him. Good, it was the pirate blockade. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Now I'll get this back on track. I'm gonna repair that just to keep it safe. It's a leecher ship, which can't leech an outpost because it's not a system yet. They may start leeching me as soon as I make it, which uh, <laughs> we'll deal with if it happens. Uh, yeah, you just stay guard on Alioth in case another pirate shows up. I don't want to lose 30 industry on all my colonies. That's most of the industry on most of my colonies, and I don't have any happiness trouble right now. And I cannot afford that, and I haven't unlocked the marketplace yet. So that'll take two turns, but no big deal. I guess they sped that one along. I forgot how to do that. Remember not to fall into this trap. I'm about to say, oh, I want to do power to shields because he's all energy damage. But these are these are basic scouts who do not have a shield. So all that's going to give you is 10% less damage. For your deeds, a special place in the vault. Actually, I wanted to. I wanted to move that guy out anyway. So, if I chose something aggressive, she would have an aggressive response. Which, right now, I haven't got my fleet down there as of yet. However, I'm gonna send these six guys, have them just start moving right now, and the last dude who comes out of here will catch up with them and join them later. Alright, there's a pirate base here. Welcome to the Sophonity. There are so Okay, met the Sophons. Uh, technology to research. Yeah, get that marketplace up. Technologies are on here. Let's use that. Yeah, that's a much stronger laser. Uh, keep the ecologist. Uh, cordial with the pulses. Alright, 
save the core or save the inhabitants of this ship. Both of them have the same reward. Uh, however, I know from experience, save the inhabitants, the follow-up quest will be colonize a system to make the refugees home, and save the core, the follow-up quest will be uh, send a fleet to go kill some guys. And I don't have a lot of fleets and I want to kill the Riftborn with them, so I'm going to save the inhabitants because I like colonizing stuff anyway. Sometimes these guys float around me, and it says it has a strength of a thousand, but it doesn't actually attack. It's a civilian faction. It can be kind of scary looking, but it, it just sits there, so no worry. Uh, and I'm gonna build that. Organic purity also will give me a big increase to my manpower generated per turn, which is good because I do not generate a lot of manpower right now. Okay, that's adamantium, which I cannot yet use. And then after organic purity, I'm gonna colonize the step planet and search the curiosity on that planet. Oh, pilgrims! These guys, uh, if you splice them, it's just like plus three science, so science is always good. I am, because I am a little, I just, I just bribed the Vodiani, so I don't think they're going to come for another bribe for a little while. So I'm going to assist these guys. Search the curiosity in the Veni system when you're ready to sacrifice a hundred dust. Well, I'm not going to send my Lost Horatio ship to that just yet, because Alioth is going to become a system in one turn, and then I'll have a population of four in it instead of a population of one. So I'm going to let him sit there for one more turn, then go search the Curiosity. I also only have, well, it wasn't going to get there in one turn anyway, but I don't think further explanation is necessary at this time. Adaptive bureaucracy is unlocked. Focused plasma. Oh, nice. That's another free technology. All right, good, good. Set up an outpost on the Camo system. Ah, uh, it's uh, stealing my population on System Alioth. What? I thought we were friends, Vodiani. Why you gotta be like that? I. The church is pleased to greet you. We are always happy to discuss affairs. Please stop harvesting my essence. Our relations with you are a source of joy and hope for the church. Could denounce them, yeah. I minus ten happiness. Let's look at what my happiness is at. I mean, I'm content everywhere. Ugh. I don't really care about the pressure. I would add at least fifteen percent more science. Clearly, I'm going to need to get some defenses up over here to do something about them. And they've got weapons on their leecher that's actually stronger than this Lost Horatio ship, so if I attack it, I will probably die in addition to making them mad. However, once I get sort of a baseline rolling from Alley off, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to drive them out. What is 
at one pirate prowler. Oh yeah, this one I can get rid of that stupid pirate. And the Farver system. Let's get a sustainable farm. Cerebral reality. I think Pavo. In fact, I'm actually going to delay colonizing my step to build another fleet in. Was that two turns to make that? Oh, 119. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, that's more than seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna send that fleet. It'll take them a while to get there, but I can clear the pirates and, and defend Alios from the bleachers. Rigel, which one's this? Oh, this is the one that's got the, uh, the pirate around the one at the corner there. not discovered yet. Reach shoe in less than ten turns to intercept the evil eyes. Well, okay. I guess I'll send a couple of these guys out early uh, to get in the shoe. Because I don't know where Camos is, and it's probably going to be so far away. shall defend the faith even in holy war diplomacy remains an option for the good of the church i have a proposal for you i'm gonna refuse this time because i'm now sending fleets that way and she wouldn't stop leeching me so so forget you these guys will go to shoe They'll get reinforcements to bring him up to a full strength when Pablo finishes three. And I'm gonna blockade that to just take out that stupid pirate and stop him from uh, besieging my places. I would say the ideal outcome, uh, diplomatically for me, would be after I deal with the Riftborn, try and make an alliance with the Softens and, and crush the Bodiani from both sides, because uh, I don't want her to keep leeching my dudes. Horatios are super beautiful, and even though we obviously have the most beautiful essence and I understand why they want it, I, I can't allow that to happen, because you know, you know... Maybe a Horatio's bald head looks better done up with moose than under a stupid hat with a glowing dust aura around it. I forgot that Horatio's were bald when I started quoting Zoolander, and then I just kept going with it, so. Uh, Colony Snow. Yeah, I could use some happiness. That's just free happiness. Colonize Ash Planets. Uh, 
Alright, let's see what I want next. Yeah, I want to grab a ton of research, because that is a good science building. I don't have, see, like, plus 25% on happy. That's not in most of my systems right now, but that's just a solid boost no matter what, and uh, always good. Influence. I shall defend the faith, whatever that requires. I didn't ignore it lightly. I ignored it because you wouldn't stop leeching me. I thought we were friends. I gave you tribute twice, Vodiani. That's twice more than I wanted to. What is that? A rift born in my territory? Cannot tolerate. Get the hell out. Uh, retreat. Attempting to retreat via an unknown star. Well, let's hope there's nothing nasty. And... Oh, there's two to search here. Well, I'll search the atmosphere first. Song. Oh, and there's 100 for that. That'll pay for the quest. Alright, now I have some Aider. I only have one Aider, which is not enough to splice. Oh, and they live on this gas giant, which has no food and a crap load of production. Okay. Well, that'll grow. Okay, it'll be a while. It will be a while before I have enough aider to splice, but uh, I got the uh, system under my control, so. What about you guys? You're just taking a billion trillion years to get across this ridiculously long star lane between Galter and Shu. ships together will be able to fight them off. I don't know. I don't want to provoke a full-scale Bodhyani response until I actually get the real fleet over there, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Obviously, they want my essence, the most beautiful essence that ever essenced. Send some probes off in this direction, see if it spot another constellation. Because I don't wanna even though there's more to explore down here, I feel as though if I passed through the Sathra system again, those two ships would be there and they would just kill me. So Ah, uh, they're sending more leechers. Alright, let's see, how long does it take to uh, production is garbage, Alley off. Get better. And now comes the time for me to. Okay, da, 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 da. let's see. What is. Uh, super spells. I don't care about you right now. 119. Sell. All right. 
right, I'm gonna just buy a fleet to do something about these stupid Rodiani. Seven by one. Okay. Oh, what's that? Twelve per turn. Eight per turn. Okay, I'll sell a little more Hyperion. Yeah, what's that? Uh, nine times. Okay. Now, what about? Oh, it's only six per thing. Five hundred. Okay, I need a little bit more. There. There's just leechers coming in all over the place here, and I gotta do something about it. So, Aaron Dennis is talking about revolting because they don't like living on a gas giant, even though that's literally their home planet. Whatever. Okay, well, this quest is pretty easy if you're Horatio, because I'm pretty sure I will finish it in one turn. Three systems of the Horatio population. But look at this. Yeah, I have one Aider on the Aider planet, and all I have is Horatio population <laughs> anywhere else. Sorry, Bodiani, you wouldn't stop leeching and... Use the wrong fleet. Uh, uh. Alright, fine, whatever. In fact, the other fleet, I forgot to take them out of uh, the hangar. Well, you guys kill the pirate. And on the subject of Vodiani. This contact is unwelcome. For what reason do you interrupt our crusade? I'm closing my... Oh, I can't afford to close borders. I don't have enough influence. Yeah? Why are you knocking around? You know, I could ask them to halt attacks, but... Whatever, I was in their home system. I don't care. I don't feel like having a diplomatic snafu with those guys. to repair that. Uh, that's a lot more than I want to spend for a ship that's pretty lame. I'm going to send these guys down to Eridanus because it looks like a pirate's about to attack. You're Aridanus. making the Saphonity nervous. What are you up to? Impressive. It's one scout ship. Are you scared of one scout ship? Seriously? Well... Those probes haven't located anything, so I'm actually going to send the scout ship over to Placidus and try to find a new constellation that way. Or, better yet, explore whatever's down here. Here we have the Osulo system. Let's get me food and science and another planet. Oh, that's right, that's already colonized. Do I? No, I don't have a Riftborn. Oh, that's too bad. Well, regardless, I will get Riftborn when I start fighting them in a war. Let's 
gonna have one plus, so that'll be five more. And then there's one guy here. Oh, and there's another one in the hangar. Search that. Also do that, because even though I don't have uh, any strategic resources to give me a plus three, that's still plus one on, on all of these guys, so that's good, decent enough. Then colonize, search the curiosity. Defend the faith, whatever that requires. Oh, you want to close your borders. Oh, yeah, because I've been so rude to you. How dare I have destroyed the ship that was literally abducting and murdering my people and and refused to give you free money. I mean, obviously, I'm the one who's in the wrong here. You in less than 10 turns, so we're gonna set the evil guys. Okay. Space, oh, it's already in progress. Oh, and that's. Boy, boy, I wish I had not uh, sent that group early. Because they're gonna probably have a rough time with things. Carnage! Oh! Ugh, oh, huh. Uh, that's that's not good. And uh, these three guys are going to stream in one at a time and probably all die. That is... Well, that is what is known in some circles as, as a huge mistake. <sighs> at least Ferrilla EM8 Mario isn't like being murdered in Carnage. Farver system. Let's get you public private partnerships. Oh, wait, no. First, study the subterranean. Then, public private partnerships. Rigel. Okay, we got that colonized, so. Seven out of six. So the booster program may be helpful. Also, yeah, no. Also, uh, get more influence generation potentially. Or I could gain the ability to colonize desert without penalty and upgrade my curiosity. Or glorification of the gorgeous. No, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. And that also unlocks the ability to change government type, so I won't be stuck with dictatorship anymore. Okay, looking at the... Oh, and there's the plus 50. 5% of food added to influence is good. Yeah, that was a massive <laughs> boost to my influence, so. Uh, I'm thinking this looks like, uh, just based on the time, a good time to cut off part two, and I will rejoin you guys in part three. Thanks for watching.